sun, giver of all life. The Mayans worship the sun, then they disappear without a trace. Don't let this happen to you. The fact is, if you spend time in the sun, you're almost certain to die. All leading medical practitioners have determined sun exposure causes cancer and heartburn. I'm an expert. Going in the sun is as dangerous as smoking or living too near a nuclear power station. Oh no, not chemo again. No, never again with Tropicarcinoma. Out the sun's dangerous rays with Tropicarcinoma. It's a unique blend of coconut oil, zinc, aluminum, boron, magnesium, and other volatile metals to neutralize the chemical shield. It's just great for the skin and the IQ. Tropicarcinoma. I'm a lifeguard and I love Tropicarcinoma. Coat my eyeballs and digestive tract. I'm white as a sheet and shooting blank. I feel great about myself. <laughs> That's important. A friend of mine asked me, why spend time in the sun if it's in life sometimes you make the wrong move and get jumped if you made the wrong move and need money fast we're here to capitalize on that to make the wrong move over and over again it's okay it's all right what are possessions and life's treasures if you can't catch a man during a self-imposed crisis at a bigo brokerage and pawn will secure the funds you need for any collateral items you can get your hands on just bring in your stock jewelry electronics munitions dust automobiles power tools then you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation. Oh, God, give me strength. I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous mm -hmm. with your long hair and big ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural ceramic history mm -hmm. or cross-cultural underwear or something, and I was very young. Very foolish. Now I see you for what you are. And what's that exactly? An intellectual cesspit. A middle class disaster. A guilt trip wrapped in neuroses and completely unable to function. Notice the traffic just keeps getting worse? Is your commute taking longer and longer because of traffic jams? It's not your fault. It's someone else's. Tired of watching people on the bus earn special privileges by traveling in a bus-only lane? You can vote to change the future of traffic in San Andreas. Vote yes on Proposition 602. By opening up the bus lanes and paving over train routes, you'll fly across town. People don't have a right to cheap transport. The Constitution is very clear on this. Remember, it's only a small step from mass...